In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello there everyone, we're about to kick off day number 18 here. My immediate plan is to go and do a birdhouse run, and then I think I'm going to try and knock the mining out. Hopefully we get it done in like 20-30 minutes. Okay, so we actually don't want this right now, don't want this right now. We do want a pickaxe of the rune variety, and... The rest of this shit doesn't matter. So we'll put on that and that. Cool. So I'm going to take a slightly weird route here. We're going to the uh, Mushroom Meadow Birdhouses first. Uh, hunt a level to start the day out. And then when I get to the bottom of here, I'm going to use the dig site again. I go to the other two birdhouses. Mine are in there. Just quicker than running back to the tree. And then we're already out of mining spot as well. Alright. Well, the tracker is expecting about 20 minutes for this, which isn't too bad. Might be even less than that. Praise Guthix we found, or thought to check that we couldn't boost and realise we could. Because that would be like an extra 20k to the next level or whatever, probably. Maybe not that much, but be a lot more. And the plan when we finish these rocks is actually to go bash out the shield of a Rav. Uh, it's a very small quest, but it is one that requires a partner. Now I thought I could do it with my main account, but apparently you can't. You can do Hero's Quest with an account that's already completed Hero's Quest, but you cannot do Shield of a Rav alongside an account that's already completed Shield of a Rav. So, had to make a new account. <laughs> I made a free-to-play account called Black Arm GM, <laughs> and that account has completed all of Shield of Arav to get the part of their certificate. I gave myself the weapon store key room from my Iron Man that had gotten it from whoever he did the the quest with originally. I went through the entire quest on a brand new account tutorial island it and everything and that account is sat there ready and waiting at the Varrock Museum to hand the certificate over so this one once this one gets its half which we will be doing via the Phoenix Gang and making sure this account is on the Phoenix Gang that means that when we do go to Hero's Quest we will be able to do that alongside my main account as that is also a black arm and for completing the Shield of Arav, we will get a nice extra 1k experience lamp, which I think I'm going to shove in fishing, speed up the rest of that grind, and then all we'll have to go is some cooking levels. There are a bunch of quests we could do for cooking levels, mainly parts of our RFD and stuff. I think it's worth doing the Mountain Dwarf one at least, because all we need for that is the Ice Gloves that we're planning to get for Heroes Quest anyway. So we'll probably be doing Mountain Dwarf RFD before Heroes Quest. But I don't want to bloat my to-do list with too many quests before doing Heroes, because I really do want to get that miscellaneous online ASAP. Because between that and the birdhouses, then we've got some solid GP per day coming in. We should be absolutely okay for the rest of this challenge without spending any more time money making or all. So I'm probably going to get most of the cooking done by just one ticking karamb ones. I think I may actually use the rogue stand to do it. It'll be a worse burn rate than using a range, but I also don't have to go back and forth from the bank. 
There is 48. In fact, should we just have a check what the family request requirements are? I don't think we can do it yet. And we just need that magic, but we can boost that. We could actually do family crest just to get ourselves some cooking gauntlets. Because I think it's on the list to do anyway. Like, we have to do it for RFD or... I can't remember which part of RFD, but... Maybe it's for Legends Quest. Yeah, it's for Legends Quest. You have to have done Family Crest. So we have to do this anyway. It's not a particularly long quest. And it will give us the cooking gauntlet. So it's probably worth doing before we start grinding our cooking through Crumb ones, is what I'm saying. So we'll be doing this. We'll be doing the RFD Mountain Dwarf. And then we'll be getting the rest of our cooking. And I'm not going to... Uh, put any more quests between that and heroes the best thing is after today i don't think we really have any big skilling grinds ahead of us we do actually need to get wood cutting up to like 50 or something which i didn't have in my list initially i'd missed it i can't remember why i'd overlooked it but but wood cutting's not too bad especially with forestry it can be quite quick we learned as we grinded it in season one and things like crafting and herb law are very and cooking are very easy to just buy. They're just buyable skills when you're playing on a main account. So with all the money we've got coming in from birdhouses, from miscellaneous soon, and the money we already have stocked up, we'll be pretty sorted in that regard. See, this is why I have to put our lamps and fish in, cause. I feel like the best fishing rate we're getting was like 30k an hour maybe. And this is like 44. As dull as it is, it's just so much quicker than fishing. Um, There it is. 49 mining. Then uh, we are going to... Do, do we need like coins or something? Okay, I don't think we need anything else in particular. That is the end of our mining journey for the minute. We do still have a little more to go. In general. But that's the, the bulk of it. Target is 52 apparently. Probably boostable, not 100% sure. What up Obama? I don't even know how to get there. Here? Okay. Oh, wrong door. Need to get my other account up so it's... ...ready. Kill my light Johnny. Fuck. Oh, I didn't even one hit him. It's embarrassing. It's that easy to join a gang in Varrock. Literally, the gangs act like they have this big security, but I just created a fresh account and joined a gang in like 13 minutes. It's not hard to go from being born to part of a Varrock gang, is my point. I need to add that account as well. Uh, what's it called? Fuck. Black Arm GM. Search. Beautiful. Back to Varrock. I think we're almost done already. It's a very quick quest. If you have the other parts set up. Alright then. Talk to the curator. Bang in. Got the certificates. We're going to hop to a free to play world with cooking black arm GM. I don't even know if we'll be able to trade. Okay. Offer. Offer. No, can't do it yet. Okay, uh, it's the other way around then. I want to use this one, not read it. Use it on one hour limit. Yes, they take it. Okay, I guess I can use the other half back. There's no reason not to. Uh, well, there is, it takes time, but I'm an idiot. So I've done it now, haven't I? Cool, that can can complete Shield of Arav if it wants to. And this one can complete it right now. See you later, Black Arm GM. Probably never going to log into you again. Let's get back on a Members World so I can alk. And look at that. Shield of Arav has been smashed out. I'm going to go get our XP lamp, shove it on fishing, and then get to the fishing. Well, I'm down here, actually, as well. I'm kind of in the vicinity of Family Crest, so I think I'll just start it to have that first bit ticked off the quest log so I don't have to come back here. Thank you very much. 
Okay, I'm going to shove that on fishing, as we said. 1,000 fishing XP. Just to fuck up our XP rate for the day. How about we just reset that hourly rate? Uh, it's this prick in it. Dementices. Where's he at? Cool. Started that. Right, we're going to Temporos. Oh, I need to get on a Temple world. I'm trying a German one. If there's enough people around, I'll do that one instead. A bit better connection for me than US. We want our prayer gear, don't we? Doesn't look like there's actually anyone here, so we'll probably have to hop. Uh, we want the initiate Sally. We want the. Do we have monk crubs? No, we don't. We probably should get some. Book. We've already got the book. We need a harpoon. Dragon bone necklace. Okay. Get ourselves one pie. I'll get a full one. Hammer, rope, bucket, bucket, let go. Just got 13,000 fishing XP left. I reckon we can get it done today. We've got half an hour left on the clock, just over. Green's gonna appear here in a sec. Called it. Wait, what is that jumping out of the water? Is that a... Is that a subscribe button? Weird. Alright, 22 minutes the tracker's estimating, so we should be able to get this fishing cracked out, I reckon. We may, if we're super speedy about it, even be able to get ourselves towards the ice gloves. Depending on how well we can keep up our fishing experience rates. Alright, fingers crossed we don't one down it again like we did yesterday when I had a full invent. There's a lot of people. Oh, this is a lot too close for comfort. I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah, we're good. Thank gosh we didn't lose all of this fishing XP. Very good for our rate. No way this is consistent, because it's just not. As soon as we're off this or this, it just drops again. So, right till the end of the game now, basically. Fuck all to gain. That's the first game of the day done. Got a construction level on the way out, I didn't actually realise that was going to be a level, but now I feel like such a genius for just hitting that one right there. 23 construction coming in hot. Green spot here, calling it. <laughs> 47 fishing. One more level till we are within boost range of Heroes quest. 10 minutes ETA on the clock. Probably closer to about 12 or 13. Damn near a full invent again. No one down, please. Just been reminding myself how to kill the Ice Queen as well. Just need to major. Make sure we bring stams. Pray melee. I think I'm just gonna go straight to the crate here. Then hopefully it'll be green by the time I'm done. Ooh, don't know if I'll get all these in before he goes down. We might miss a couple seconds on the pool. We should be good still with just one more game after this either way, I reckon. I've managed to keep up very good rates today. I don't know how it's so much better than it has been the previous days, but... Just grab ourselves a pie. Well, we just had a random event appear before the uh, boat went, but it was a Leo, so... At least we didn't miss anything. And there is the 48 fishing. I'm gonna finish out this game just because it'd be silly not to get our permits and turn them in, but we are actually done with fishing now. I had it on my list that we need 53, but I can only assume that that is boostable from here. Maybe we do actually need the 53 requirement for a different quest, but we'll find out later down the line if that's the case. I believe it's the end of our journey with fishing, which is very nice indeed. Very nice. In fact, I am just going to go into my XP drops and get rid of my trackers for both fishing and mining, because we are done, baby. Beautiful stuff! Seven permits to turn in now. See if we happen to get lucky on anything, who knows, maybe. Give us a tome of water, perhaps? Wow, 1,500 fishing bait. Never lucky. We want to dump all that shit. We want to get our rune pouch and our Zerishin robes and a lava ball staff. Ding, 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 ding. And I think we're pretty good other than that. We don't have any boots to go with it, do we? I suppose we'll wear climbing boots. Why the fuck not? 
Okay, we're going to need a Dwarven plus a Pickaxe plus Stamina. Energy? Runes, runes, runes of the Chaos variety. And we'll have that set to Fireball. That'll do. Is there anything else we need? I'm just going to get another little Stamdos and a bit of food. Right. I probably don't need this, do I? Oh well. Let's go PvP Arena. Run down to the glider. Let's see how well I remember my way to the Ice Queen. Oh, I didn't bring my Alks. It's a shame. Drink the Dwarven Stout, investigate, mine. Cool. That's what we needed the 50 mining for. Ah, shit, which one is it? It's not that one, is it? I feel like it's this one. Am I wrong? Yeah, we need to get to there, though. Oh, we can walk around there. I didn't realise we could just walk around. Okay, and then we go into the... Yeah, this one. There she is. Probably shouldn't be on a US world, to be honest, but... <laughs> We've only got five minutes left, seems silly to hop. And there goes the Ice Queen. We now have ourselves the Ice Gloves. Very big, very big development for the account. We can now complete Hero's Quest with those Ice Gloves. Once we have the cooking level. We can also complete RFD Dwarf sub-requirement, which is very, very nice. Let's get rid of that. Let's get this and this. We're going to realise that we're actually quite, quite low on nature runes. So grab a wealth as well. And some teak logs. Seeds. And that'll do, I think. Oh, we need the actual dig site. Perfect. Ah, back to our old friend, the Iron Rocks. By friend, I mean mortal enemy. There's a craft on level 41, and there is a hunter level as well, to 42. I am just going to spend the last few minutes of the day selling and buying some things. What have we got here? We've got, some, we've got 17 birds nests, very nice. Rings that we can sell. Ruby. I suppose we should probably chisel those first, actually, so maybe not get rid of the rubies. Is that a Celestra Seed? Wow, I didn't know we'd got that. That's some some money in the bank right there. Okay, steel bars. I knew we had a bunch of steel bars still that we hadn't used. That was what I was looking for. Very, very nice. Okay, Let's see if we can get these quest items together. All right, folks. That is our hour. Wow, we got a lot, lot, lot done today. So much, so much done today. We are ready to do our FD Dwarf. We managed to crack out Shield of Arav. We have a bunch of XP gained. 37,000 XP gained today. 12,000 mining XP. 15,000 fishing XP. And a little bit of magic thrown in there as well with, of course, our hunter that we always get. We got the ice gloves. We got family crest started. We're going to do that as well. Probably going to get RFD dwarf and family crest done tomorrow. And then hopefully we can also do the vast majority of our cooking. I put it into the calculator and it's only going to take us about 420 karam ones to get 50 cooking. So... That's going to be no time at all if we're just doing it with cooking gauntlets next to the fire in the Thieves Guild. A very, very solid day of progress. We finished up like all of our skilling grinds now. We do still have some wood cutting as I mentioned, but who cares about that? And that's going to be it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video please do leave us a like and a comment down below it's gonna get hype we are ready to do some more things other than grinding with rocks and fishes and all sorts of horrible nonsense we can get some quests done yay i hate quests and get miscellanea online and then oh gosh i didn't actually thought that far ahead do a bunch more rfd actually we're going to be getting a ton of council members done in short succession, probably, after we've finished Hero's Quest. And then we're going to just have a couple of big ones left to go, being Ceramic Vars and King. So make sure you subscribe. 
to the channel so you don't miss out on any of that future content or the other shit that I am always posting when I edit it. Just drop my headphones. Don't worry about that though. All you need to worry about is looking after yourself, being lovely to one another. And I'll see you on the next one.